Hello everyone, I'm Ezekiel Bruni, and I'm a general writer, tech nerd, and I am dedicated to bringing you the best VPN stuff on behalf of VPN Mentor. You know what? You'll see why that's funny in a second, because we're talking about dedicated IP addresses, and specifically, which VPNs, uh, which of the top VPNs that we like, have the best dedicated IP address options, and, you know, the best feature sets in general, because you don't just want a dedicated IP, you want a whole VPN. So let's get into that. Now you might be thinking, VPNs are all about anonymity and stuff. Why would you want a dedicated IP address? Those can eventually be tracked back to you. Yes, that is absolutely true. However, you may find them useful anyway for a couple of different reasons. A dedicated IP address will allow you to access, for example, banking websites and so on in another country if you're traveling abroad. Bank websites don't like it often when you, uh, you know, like access them from IP addresses all around the world. So it's best if you use a single IP address for some of those mission critical services. I also use one to lock down one of my personal hosting servers. I literally just banned every IP address except my dedicated IP address so that I can get admin access to my hosting server from anywhere, but only I can get it. So those are all very useful features. And here are the VPNs that we recommend for them. We're talking about CyberGhost, and private internet access, which are both fantastic VPNs in their own right. Now, CyberGhost in general it might be the better option for general use, simply because it ha doesn't just have a dedicated IP feature. It also has optimized servers for gaming, if you want that sort of thing. It has optimized servers for torrenting, for streaming, and it has servers available in, hold on, in over 90 different countries which means that if you're, you know, want to use your VPN normally, you can always find a server near you, which is a pretty big deal and cannot be underestimated. It should also be mentioned that CyberGhost offers a bunch of extra business features, some paid, such as a full business antivirus suite. You can also get like business VPN plans. And CyberGhost is just a generally good option for both consumers and shall we say medium to large businesses as well. One thing it does not have, unfortunately, is split tunneling. So, for example, if you want to have some apps on your computer access the server, you can't do that. But you can, you know, use a uh, content blocker and all of that good stuff. As far as the dedicated IP is concerned, it will cost extra. This is true for both of these. Uh, you know, you don't just get a dedicated IP address for free. But there are a ton of extra, you know, features that come with any CyberGhost VPN plan that you may want to consider. Now, just a quick note before I go on to private internet access, if you like this video, if it's helping you out, please do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, appease the YouTube gods, etc. I know it's a hassle, but it helps us a lot. All right, moving on. So private internet access. This is the one I have a dedicated IP with myself, and I'll tell you why. It's cheaper. Private inter internet access is generally speaking our favorite budget VPN. It has a slightly smaller range of countries to choose from, with over 80 countries, which is still pretty darn good, but you're still almost guaranteed to find a server close to you. That's, you know, not a small network by any means. I won't be showing you my dedicated IP address for reasons, but I do have it. Private internet access also has a lot of great privacy features. The client itself is open source. Both of these uh, VPNs can be accessed on just about every platform, including Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android. Now, um, private internet access does have something that CyberGhost doesn't. It has split tunneling. Oh, CyberGhost has that on Android, but only on Android. Anyway, private internet access has split tunneling, so you can choose which specific apps use, you know, your dedicated IP address. And generally, it all works just great. It does not have all the bells and whistles that CyberGhost VPN does. So which should you choose? Well, it comes down to those bells and whistles, I think. If you want all the extra features that CyberGhost VPN has and you don't mind paying for them, then CyberGhost VPN is a great place to get your dedicated IP address as well as your VPN services for everything else. Private internet access is also great for unlocking streaming services when you're traveling and also great for gaming. We've tried it before. You know, it's no slouch, but CyberGhost VPN is the more featureful 
VPN and generally speaking, for most people, I would recommend it. But when you want a really good deal and you're willing to pay for a couple years in advance, private internet access is your best choice in that particular case. Okay, once more, please do like and subscribe if you found this video helpful, if it helped you make up your purchasing decisions, and check the links down in the description for full reviews of both CyberGhost and private internet access with, you know, all the tests we've run, all the services we've tried unlocking, everything. There will also be discount links for both of these down in the description to make getting your first, first purchase a lot easier. If you're really budget-minded, the, the one for private internet access, it'll be really cheap with the discount. But CyberGhost VPN is pretty affordable too. All right, I had fun making this video. I hope you had fun watching it. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out.